Hi, my name is Melissa Bacone, and today I'm going to show you how to make grow grain ribbon and rick rack. I'm going to go ahead and close this image, and we're going to start from scratch. I have a blank new document. It's th 6 inches by 6 inches at 300 ppi, and I am going to start with a new blank layer. Grab my marquee tool, draw out something that looks like ribbon, fill it with a color, option delete or alt backspace on the PC. Command or Control D to deselect. And the first thing I need to do is I need to create a custom gradient. I'm going to click on my gradient tool. I'm going to come up in my options bar and click on the gradient editor. I want to choose black to white. I'm going to take my white slider and scooch it all the way down against the black, holding my Option or Alt key to duplicate my black. I'm going to put it right next to the white. Click on my white, same thing, Option or Alt to duplicate, black, duplicate. I'm going to click OK, and I'm just going to use my marquee tool to pull out an area that I can apply my new gradient. Holding down the Shift T to constrain it, and I'm going to zoom way in so that I can grab my marquee tool, Command or Control D to deselect, and I want to grab out an area that's going to become a pattern. That looks good. I'm going to come up to Edit, Define Pattern. I'm going to leave that name just how it is. Click OK. I'm going to back out holding down my Z and my Option or Alt key to back out. I can now just grab this with my marquee tool and delete it. I don't need that anymore. Okay, so let's go back to our ribbon. So we have layer one and we're going to add some effects. Starting with the pattern overlay, I'm going to grab my pattern I just created. There it is, sitting at the bottom and I'm going to change the blend mode to multiply, reduce the opacity until it looks something like a ribbon. There we go. I also want to add a bevel and emboss. I'm going to come over here to bevel and emboss and I just want to make some minor changes to my bevel. I'm going to decrease my depth. Ribbons aren't really very thick and what I really want to do is I really want to add a contour. So I'm going to, I'm going to up my opacity and I'm going to up my multiply a little bit. I'm going to come down here and click on contour and I'm going to choose this last contour here. And I'm going to lower this a little bit. And I'm going to give it a little bit of an inner glow. And I'm actually going to change this to more of like an inner shadow than an inner glow. Change it to black, multiply, and really lower the opacity. And what this is doing is giving our ribbon a little bit of an edge. I'm going to change this contour. We'll do a default contour here. And that looks pretty good. So now if I zoom in, holding down my Z tool, you can see it's got a little bit of an edge on it, giving it more of a realistic look. Okay, so there is our Grow Grain Ribbon. Now we can also add a drop shadow if you like to give it a little more realistic look. I want to lower the opacity there. I'm just going to leave that set to that. Now let's go ahead and save this as a new style. I'm just going to click on New Style, save this as Ribbon. Go ahead and click OK there because we're going to use it again. We're going to use it again in our Rick Rack. So to make our Rick Rack, let's go ahead and turn off our ribbon layer. We need to zoom out, holding down the Z and the Command or Alt or the Alt or Option key. And I'm going to grab my Marquee tool. I'm going to go ahead and make myself another ribbon. This time I'm going to do it vertical. I'm going to fill it. Option Delete or Alt Backspace. I need a new blank layer to be able to do that in. Option Delete Alt Backspace and I'm going to come up here to my styles and here's my ribbon that I saved earlier. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new blank layer. Command or Control D to deselect everything. I'm going to turn off my drop shadow. I don't need it. With my blank layer, my layer 2 selected, I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose Merge Layers and this is going to merge my effects. Command or Control T and then holding down my shift key to constrain, I want to turn it sideways and I'm just going to center it here. Hit return to accept that. Now I'm going to apply a filter, distort, wave. 
I've got the number of generators is 5, type is sine. My wavelength, max and min, are both going to be the same at 120. Amplitude, 30, 35 max, 5 minimum. Scale, 100%. These are very important, and there's no preview, okay, except for this little tiny box here. Click OK. And now I have something that looks like rickrack. My ends are a little weird, so I'm just going to grab my rectangular marquee and chop off my ends. Go ahead and turn my ribbon back on. And let's zoom in so you can see the final result. And then if you wanted to go ahead and add a drop shadow to the rickrack, you can. And a quick and easy way to do it, I'm going to hold down my Option key, click on Drop Shadow in Layer 1, drag it up to Layer 3, and now the drop shadows are the same.